guys. Um, not gonna lie, I'm filming this on Sunday, uh, May 15th, um, and it's my April wrap up. It has been a busy month over here. I'm not gonna lie, in the month of May, thank goodness for audiobooks because I have read like 70 pages of my current read, um, which is my book of the one of my book of the month choices um, from book of the month which is Breathless. Um, I'll pull, put a little still of it here, um, but that was their thriller choice. And I also got La Hacienda or The Hacienda. I think it's The Hacienda. Um, and I'm reading that too. But I know I didn't forget I'm here with my April wrap up. If you're new here, my name is Heather and here at Heather's Book Review, as you can see behind me, I like to read and review thrillers and mysteries with the occasional sci-fi, super hype, hyped up fiction novel. You'll also notice I, uh, what is it? I stumble over my words all the time because my thoughts just move quicker. They move more quickly than I can like actually voice them. So that is also a very common theme on my channel. Um, but here I am late on a Sunday night. And I was like, you know what? No, Heather, like you have to film this or it's never going to get done. So here I am about to tell you about the four books that I read slashed listened to <laughs> in the month of April. Um, you can also connect with me on Goodreads and Instagram. It's just the same handle at Heather's Book Review. I'll put a little sticker somewhere here for you. Okay, so I'm actually going to go from like least to most fave book in the month of April. So my least favorite, unfortunately, was Like a Sister, which is written by Kelly Garrett. This was the April um, book of the month choice for 2022. And if you're new here, I have personally vowed to read the book of the month thriller for every month, even if it doesn't sound like my cup of tea. Um, if you are new to book of the month or you haven't quite heard of it, it is a book buying subscription for $14.99. You get a hardcover book of your choice. They typically give anywhere from five to seven um, monthly choices. And then you can also get an add-on, which is this next book I'm going to be talking about um, for $10. So I think it's actually a really reasonable subscription um, for hardcover books and just like books in general. But all of these that you see behind me are courtesy of book of the month because I just can't pass up like buying extra books for $10. It's definitely like a weakness of mine, but I typically always get like two to three books a month from book of the month. So anyways, like a sister was the April book of the month choice and I wanted to like it. Okay. The premise sounded really cool. Um, let me go ahead and read it for you. Um, it says, no one bats an eye when a black reality TV star is found dead, except her strange half-sister, whose refusal to believe the official story leads her on a dangerous search for the truth. I'm not going to go out, I'm not going to read the whole thing just because like I didn't really like this book and I don't want to waste so much time on it. Um, but the protagonist, I'm going to be looking at my notes here. The protagonist, I wrote that she just felt like really one dimensional to me. Um, we were only given like a few character traits for her. And if you're not new here, then you know, this is like a really <laughs> common thing for me. Like if I am just like not in any way, like vibing with the main character, it's really, really hard. Now I will say there are like some insane thrillers where like you're meant to not vibe with the character, but like I just, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I really, really liked um, the last thing he told me. I've reviewed that. I think I gave it a four and a half. I'll link it up here, um, a four and a half stars. But that character was also one dimensional for me, but the story itself was like really good. So it kind of made up for it. This, I felt like I was watching a Law and Order episode. Um, and it's actually funny because the main protagonist in this book like mentions Law and Order. She's like, talking about like, I don't know, some sort of something going on in the book. And she's like, I mean, this isn't a law and order episode. Like I, I can't just like bombard this guy with random questions. Like I have to have a lead or something first. And I was like, funny because it definitely feels like a law and order episode to me. So yeah, unfortunately didn't love this one. I don't recommend getting it as an add on. If you didn't get it in the month of April, I would just probably like give it a pass. And my next three books are all four stars or greater. 
Um, and I was very surprised by this next one. It is um, The Younger Wife by Sally Hepworth. And the reason I was so surprised for this was because I read The Stepmother by Sally Hepworth or was it The Mother-in-Law? I, nope, I think it was The Mother-in-Law. I'll find a still for that somewhere here as well. Um, but I hated that book. I thought it was super boring. I, I It was genuinely a book where like I finished it and I was like, that was absolutely a waste of my time. And it was like right when I was getting back into booktube too. So it was like a pretty big disappointment for me because I was like, I was just getting back into reading after like a super, super long hiatus. But anyways, um, hated that book. This book, The Younger Wife, I actually requested um, and was granted the audiobook from the publisher. Um, so thank you, Macmillan, for that. And guys, it's actually really good. Um, I, on my rating scale, am giving it an enjoyable read. Um, I forgot to say, now that I'm saying this, for my rating scale for Like a Sister, this would be my lowest score, a chore to finish back to the younger wife this definitely gets an enjoyable read um i listened to it like i just said and while there are quite a few bit of um oh my gosh i sorry i like obviously cannot multitask there are quite a bit of point of views in this book you have two sisters and then the younger wife and is there somebody else no i think it might just hop between those three but it's not annoying. Like I was actually pretty engaged um, with those and I felt like the characters were actually um, really detailed and I loved following like all of their lives because they were so different and it was interesting just to like watch how everything played out. I don't want to give it too much away, but I will say there was a really massive twist at the end. Um, and there's this like one part in the epilogue that you're like, wait, is this even like the biggest twist of the whole book? I would give this one a listen or a read. I actually really enjoyed my time with it. Moving on to a sci-fi. Yes, you heard me right, a sci-fi. Like who actually am I? I couldn't pass this up though. Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I know I have slept on this. Look at this, August book of the month, 2016. Teen. I know I'm late to the game. I really do. Um, I did get this um, as a book of the month add-on for 10 bucks and it is worth the hype. Let me tell you that my light a little bit because the sun has definitely set here. Anyways, this is 1000% um, worth the hype. Um, I'm reading my notes right now. This book is like really keeps you on the edge of your seat, but also there's like never a dull moment in this book. It is one of those books that you pick up and how, how long was it? Let's see. It's like 350, which is typically the average length of like my books. I don't know why they usually range anywhere from like 300 to 370. This is a book that you pick up and like right away you just don't want to put it down because it's that good right from the very beginning and i will say it has been a long time since i've experienced a book that is so fast paced like dark matter um so that was definitely like refreshing for me the reason this isn't a five is because and i can't really say a whole ton without like spoiling it and if you've read it then like that makes hopefully complete sense to you <laughs> but um Basically, like there are some parts towards the end of this story that do feel like a little hazy for me. They just get a little like confusing, but that's not until the last like 60 pages or so. So like there were some parts of that that like I wish maybe went a little differently. Um, but I tried to just keep reminding myself, like, this is a science fiction, like anything goes with science fiction, right? Like, and at least in my opinion, like authors create their own world and we just have to remember, like, they can do anything with that world, right? Like, it's not my typical, like thriller read where like, sometimes these go like an absolutely outrageous direction and then to me, it's like, it's not believable. It's not enjoyable. But with sci-fi, I try to like not be 
um, as picky about that because like it is an entirely completely different genre. Um, so besides the parts that did get like a little confusing for me to understand, I do feel like they were wrapped up like pretty nicely in the end. Um, and I did do a buddy read with this with one of my OG subscribers and now really great friends because we talk all the time on bookstagram. <laughs> um, so it was really fun to like read this with her because I feel like she kind of helped me like understand the ending a little bit more. And I feel like if I read this on my own, I would have been like really confused and maybe a little bit let down at the end. But, um, I know she didn't feel like as confused as me. Um, she definitely got more clarity as she was reading it, but um, yeah, I, that's like the only reason this isn't a five star. Other than that, it was like super fast paced. I enjoyed our main character. I thought it was really just like a book, like full of adventures. Now having to like put my glasses on <laughs> to read my notes because my eyesight is getting so bad. Thank you aging that I just cannot, like I literally am having difficulty reading my notes from like afar. But like also how annoying would this be? Like you guys just staring at the ring light the whole time. Like I'll take them off for you. And last but not least, my favorite book that I read in the month of April was actually recommended by you guys, subscribers. Um, quite a few people over the years have been told, um, have been telling me, telling me, telling me to read this book. And I chose um, to listen to it on Amazon Audible. And that is The Life We Bury by Alan Eskins. Um, I'm thinking of filming a full review on this one. But like I said, I've been really busy. It's, I just started, I wrapped up a grad class starting, started a new one. And then if you're new here, I'm a teacher. And it's also the end of the school year, which is obviously super crazy. <laughs> so, um, anyways, I don't know how much like filming of solo reviews I'm going to do, um, like anytime soon. So I'll table it. I did write an, a lot of notes for it, but the life we bury is definitely, um, I would categorize it as a thriller. Um, it feels more like domestic thriller kind of vibe in the beginning. But basically, it's about this college student who is interviewing um, a murderer for like a college paper. And um, the murderer that he meets is this elderly man who's actually really sick now. And he basically is saying that like he didn't commit the murder. So our whole book is our main character trying to see if the man did commit the murder and he's like going through his whole Nancy Drew-esque research if you will and it's very exciting um there are parts that and I don't want to oh my gosh I just accidentally zoomed in on this like not knowing how to how to do that it was an accident I was just trying to <laughs> oh my god sometimes I'm just like amazed by myself I zoomed in which would have been really helpful. <laughs> and I could have like avoided my glasses earlier, but anyways, whatever. Um, I'm not going to go too much into this in the event that like I do film a full review, but it is a really, really good, good book. Um, there are super suspenseful parts and um, I really like our main character because he's in college and I feel like he's finding himself throughout this entire experience. He has a really bad home life a really difficult home life i should say um and i feel like he's kind of dealing with that along with um like going on his nancy drew you know kind of um trying to follow all the clues and it's just a really it's really good character development um which i feel like i actually really struggled with this month <laughs> so it was nice to um have a book where I really enjoyed our main character and felt like I got to see um, a lot of growth for them. And guys, that wraps up all of the books that I read in April. Um, yeah, I have quite a bit of books. Oh my gosh, I am, if you're still listening to this, I am reading or listening to a book right now called Hidden Objects. I'll put a still of it here. The horror thriller. 
it is so freaking good. I, I, you know what? I'm about to do the dishes after this. I cannot wait to see how that book wraps up because it is so spooky and it's so good. So that'll definitely be in my May wrap up, which hopefully I can get up at the end of May. Let's be real. Um, but anyways, yeah, pretty good reading month. I typically average anywhere from like four to six books a month. I will say now that I'm coming into the summer months, um, maybe I'll get to read a little bit more. I'm not sure, but our son is also approaching. I can't believe I'm saying this one year, one year, and he doesn't really nap anymore. <laughs> so the luxury of free time has kind of gone out the window, but Hey, I'm not complaining, complaining. I'm just stating that I don't really have a whole lot of free time anymore, <laughs> but, uh, we'll see, you know, you never know, um, if I'll be able to like sneak in more reading time, I'll definitely be able to sneak in more audio, audio books um, in the summer because I will be driving everywhere with my little man and just doing errands and stuff. So I'll have more time like during the day for like audio books and stuff. I just don't know how much about like physically reading, but we shall see my friends. We shall see. Um, I hope everyone's having a great reading month in May. I hope you had a great reading month in April. Um, the Life We Bury, oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, Breathless, Breathless, the book of the month thriller for this month. I am doing a read with me kind of vlog type thing where like I film my thoughts. I record my thoughts um, after each through each third of the book. So I think that book is like 350 pages. So I'm going to film my thoughts through the first hundred pages. Cause I'm almost there. My thoughts through the, um, from like 100 to page 200. And then I don't know if I'm going to do a 200 to 300 or a 300 to 350. It depends if the book picks up at all. It's like really dragging for me. Um, but yeah, if you're like interested in getting that or you do have it and you're going to, you know, hopefully like read it semi soon. If you want to save it, we can kind of like read it together in that video, if you will. Like you can just pause the video through the first third and then like hear my thoughts and see, you know, leave a comment or whatever and then like come back to it um, or something. I don't know. I'm kind of testing out the waters with that kind of video. Um, I have my first ever video of that caliber. I don't know if that's the right word with the last house on needless street, which I am posting very, very soon. Um, but anyways, I feel like I'm rambling now, so I'm just going to let you guys go as always. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye you guys.